Hello Stampers! My name is Linda Betger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Denver, Colorado. And this is my buddy Puccini who keeps me company in the craft room. I say he helps, but mostly he gets into things he shouldn't. <laughs> and um, we have a fun card for you today. I'm using um, one of the envelope and uh, card kits and I've made um, a very pretty card. I think you're going to like it. And as a result of that, it's pretty easy. Um, and so I'll show you and we'll just get started. Okay, here is my card. And it's very soft and very subtle. And it says just a note here. And that's from one of the new stamp sets from the and this is the stamp set on page 25 in the big catalog, and it's just wonderful. I say we should never be without something that says just a note, and she's got, and I, I'm not remembering, Sandy Hartka. And this was her stamp set when she reached a million dollars. It says just a note in this absolutely glorious script, then just a note in very simple, and usually there's, um, and then there's this one. So there's three different ones that one could use in different sizes. Happy birthday in a couple of different things. Uh, thinking of you um, in, again, another couple of different sizes. Thank you and big, medium, and small. And then there's just a little hello down here. And I just love this stamp set. We're lucky because when a million dollar achiever puts together a stamp set, I think it stays for two years. So we're going to have this one for a while. I think it's going to prove to be extremely popular. So that's the one I used here to create a note that says just a note. And I did it in white. And I hope you can see that. It's very faint, but just so pretty and delicate. Now, what I used to make this was the Pool Party and Soft Sea Foam Cards and Envelopes. Okay, these cards and en envelopes, and let me show you the envelope. Um, just beautiful. And then the inside of the envelope has this color, which goes with the uh, Pool Party version of this. And let me show you what that looks like. And here is the Pool Party card base. So very, very pretty. And these are available in sale abrasion. So they're free um, for a $50 purchase for the uh, cards and envelopes. And there's 20 card bases and 20 envelopes. So there's 10 of the green card bases and 10 of the pool party and then envelopes to go with each. And they're just very attractive. Um, the envelope has some pretty white detail on it that I thought went particularly well with the idea of this. Now this piece here is taken from the main catalog in embossing folders, and this is a new embossing folder set. And you can see here that it is two smaller folders, and I used this one and um, to get this, and then I just fussy cut it out. Um, and so this one is a little fiddly in that it does require some fussy cutting on this piece. But since the rest of it is so simple, I didn't think it would be much of a problem. Now, for today's card, what I'm going to do is I am going to change it up. And I have done this one in the green, and then let me show you the inside. I cut another little piece of fussy cutting here. And then I put a strip of the soft sea foam and then the soft papaya there on the inside. And I used the glossy dots um, uh, embellishments. And those are retiring. So if you want some of those, you probably better move fairly quickly to get those because you know how it is. Once they're going, they kind of go quickly. Um, and here's what the glossy dots look like. 
and they're in this very soft, um, or polished dots, pardon me, polished dots, and they are retiring, but I thought with the uh, soft papaya or the pale papaya, this went particularly well, and the others are clear, and um, so I have that, and then for this blue one, I thought, I have these, which are fine sparkle adhesive back gems, which are new in the new catalog. And they've got this color, which is very much the soft um, uh, papaya here, pale papaya. And then this one looked like it went really well with the pool party. So I'm just changing it up a little bit. And we're going to make this same card, but we're going to do it in the blue. And so that's what we're doing today. And here is my card base which is just like you'd expect it to be. And then uh, I've got this piece that is one and a half inches by five and uh, a half to go all the way across the front of this. And I'm just going to add some adhesive on that and put that into place on my card. And I'm going to put it not all the way to the bottom, a little un under halfway on this. And so there we've got a background. And then I've started this piece, which is my fussy cut out embossing folder piece. And it's not it's not terribly diff difficult and it takes just a few minutes. I think I did two of them in under five minutes. So what I have then are just daubers and I have daubers in the uh, pale papaya and then I have a dauber in the the pool party here and then I have my pool party ink and I just daubered those little berries here in the uh, soft papaya pale papaya I just can't get that right and just add a little touch to those little berries there. And then on the pool party, I am just making all of these leaves pool party, but it's got a raised detail because of the embossing. So it's real easy to color the, the, the leaves in this. And on this uh, original one, I did it in the uh, soft sea foam. And on this, I'm doing it in the pool party, and we'll see how this comes out. I just thought it would be kind of fun to do one in each of the colors of the card bases, and let's just see what it looks like. And what I did on this is just kind of get those stems by putting my finger on the berries and then using my dauber down below so it wouldn't be um, getting some of the pool party on the, um, on the berries. And you can do this as light or as dark as you like. I thought variation in the intensity would be good. Um, and so that's what I've done there. So this one, I just added some dimensionals to the back. And so I will do that and speed through that. Okay, so I went a little crazy with the dimensionals, but I wanted all of those little ends to be supported. So I'm going to place this on here, down as far as I can get away with. In fact, I, well, I'd like to move this up. I don't know if I can get away with that or not, but I'm going to try. I'm going to use my spatula here and see if I can lift this piece. I want it up just a little bit higher. Can't believe I got away with that. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to put this here. And I think I'm going to do it this way. I want the contrast of the white behind some of these um, pool party leaves. To move that over a little bit. And down there. There we go. Now then, I am going to use my heat tool and some embossing powder along the top here. 
and we're going to put that in white embossing powder on the top. And let's see, I've got my stamp mounted that says just a note, and I need my Versamark ink. And I'm going to put my just a note right up here on this side. There we go. And I think that's on there pretty well. And then I've got my white embossing powder. And I'm going to add my white embossing powder here. Now I'm going to take my heat tool and I'll silence the video so it's not so obnoxious. Okay, so you saw what I did. I went back in when it was still warm and put it back into the embossing powder again and then uh, heat it again and I did it a couple of times and now I can see my just a note really pretty well. So I'm actually pretty pleased with that. So um, again, it's very faint, but the whole idea of this thing is just faint and very light. Now I have a pale papaya um, piece of ribbon here, the sheer ribbon, and I'm going to put a bow in the middle of this just like I did the, the soft seafoam. And there is my bow to kind of go in the center there. And I'm going to add that with a glue dot. And so here is my glue dot that I will put in the center here. And I think the soft papaya or the pale papaya is really nice with the pool party. Now I'm going to crack open these gems. And I'm going to use papaya in here. So I'm going to put these pale papaya gems on my berries. Just like I did with my first, uh, or my prototype here. And then I'm going to put three larger ones right up here in the corner to pick up more of that pale papaya color and a couple more of these on my berries down here if you have a more substantial just a note that might be good uh, against this light background for the inside of this card I have first a piece of the uh, soft sea foam I mean <laughs> The, um, pool party and I'm going to put that on the inside just like this and then on this one I have a piece of pool party ready to go this is three quarters of an inch by five and a half so it'll go all the way across the card and I'm just going to put a little bit of seal on that and put that into place right down here on the bottom 
Um, and then I have this little piece of that. Uh, I made one more impression of this thing. And I'm going to fussy cut this one out and put a few of these leaves on the bottom of this. But I'm not going to do all of them. In fact, I'm going to start right here and I'll speed this up. I'm going to dauber that again using the um, soft sea foam. I'm not even going to re-ink. I'm just going to get a little bit of that color down, all except on the berries. And you could actually, you could get probably out of one of these um, embossed pieces, you could probably get four or five insides. And so now I'm going to add a little bit of the pale papaya to my berries. And then I'm just going to stick this piece right down in here on the inside. I'm going to put just a little bit of seal on the back of this so it'll stay down. And set this down like this. And there we've got a nice decoration for the inside. Now then, I did also put a little piece of this pale papaya uh, right down here. That appears to be not terribly straight. There we go. All right, so I'm going to cut off a little piece of this and going to add a little bit of my dot runner to this ribbon just so it'll stay in place and wrap that one around this piece. Get that to stay put and then anchor that around the back. Then this piece just gets a little bit of seal and I'm going to put a little bit on that ribbon so that it'll stay put. There we go. Now then, this is going to go down on the inside of my card, and there is our inside all decorated. So that is my project for the day. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel today. I do so appreciate it. And if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, well, I'd love to be your demonstrator. Or you could join my team. So there is my two versions of this card with the uh, note cards and envelopes in soft sea foam and pool party. And the nice thing about this is these card bases and envelopes are free with a $50 purchase. And you have 10 each of these note cards. And then this is one of the new embossing folders. And it is, I'll put the name of it up on the screen for you so you know exactly what it is. And then this is just the pale papaya. In this case, these polished dots, I think, and, um, and or these items, which are new, which are the fine sparkle adhesive back gems, uh, work beautifully well with that um, pale papaya. And these are retiring. And I'll also put the name up on that. But, oh, here it is. They are polish dots. Yes, polish dots. And these are retiring. These are new. But you can see it's got something that matches the pool party here, as well as the pale papaya. In addition, there is kind of a soft peachy pink, I think, and then a, a, like a balmy blue. Because they're semi-clear, whatever you put it on is going to pick up the color that's on the bottom of it, so that's uh, that'll work pretty well.
So, let's see, this is June. My monthly prize is a $60 shopping spree on me, and you get yourself in the drawing by putting an order of any size on my store, lbedinger.stampinup.net, and you can get to it through my blog, www.inkandingenuity.com. And I put a couple, I put a little video of my grandson's visit uh, up on my blog, and people are responding really, really nicely to it. And then I've got some new Puccini pictures up. And uh, then, of course, my cards and further description of, of uh, measurements and supplies and all of that. So that's it for me. I will be back soon. Oh, of course, this is Celebration. So these are available in Celebration. And there's a join offer uh, that includes a planning, a whole set of planning material. Uh, a planning uh, notebook and stickers and a stamp set and all kinds of things that come uh, if you join Stampin' Up! during the sale abrasion time, which is um, coming up in July and August. So again, that's it for me. I'll be back soon with more cards, more projects, and more tips. Bye!